Hi, we're having a party in our house today. It's a great celebration. I've got my party ears on. I've got balloons. We've even got bubbles. I'll do that again in case you missed it. Oh, that wasn't very good. Well, that's better. You see, it's a great time. It's a great celebration because today is Thursday, the 14th of May. No, it's all right. You've missed my birthday. That was three days ago. Today is the celebration of a saint called Matthias. I bet you knew that all along, didn't you? So at least in our house today, we're having a celebration to celebrate Saint Matthias, the patron saint of also Rands. If you've ever found yourself being the one sitting on the subs bench all the time, or the one who's always considered second class, or the one who's always called to fill in when the preferred option for something never turns up or isn't available, then welcome to the party. You too could be a Saint Matthias. You won't find him in the Gospels, of course, but you will find him in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verses 12 to 26. He was one of the followers of Jesus right from the very start and he was a witness to the resurrection. And what we see now is in a little local election, he is removed from the subs bench into being one of the 18, the 12 apostles. He's made it. So it's interesting, you know, how it happens um, because there's two contestants. In the red corner, we have Joseph called Barsabbas, also known as Justice. And in the blue corner, Matthias. But there's no hustings. There's no political banter. There's no evidence given of one's superiority over another. There's no arguing. There's no evidence of their abilities or their achievements. And there's no evidence of the apostles preferring one over the other and falling out over it. But there was the casting of lots. A bit like flipping of a coin, really. But it wasn't some trivial activity, only undertaken when serious, it was only undertaken when serious, impartial decisions were to be made. You know, both candidates had been backroom boys. They had not been upfront team players, but their credentials were both the same. The credentials from the start were that both had been witnesses to seeing the risen Lord. They had both been with Jesus from the very beginning and both were called to the same task, the primary task of bearing witness to the living Lord Jesus. So what did the disciples do? They cast lots. Now to cast a lot in the time of Jesus was not a trivial thing. You only did it and it was part of an ancient tradition when you needed an impartial decision to discern the will of God. So the apostles prayed and then cast lots and it fell to Matthias and immediately he's off the, the subs bench and he's into the A-team. Of his future we know little, most of it due to speculation and legend but as one of the apostles he would have gone round the world proclaiming the good news of Jesus and declaring his life to be a witness. Now that doesn't sound such a bad account of a life to me for someone who thought he would always be on the subs bench. So what about us? <sighs> what about us? You know, few of us are ever on the A-team. Few of us are even ever considered for public honour. And many of us are often overlooked when gratitude is being handed out. And yet in the grace-filled love of God, each one of us is called by name to bear witness to the risen Lord Jesus and to speak gospel and to be gospel wherever and however we can. So today this house will say a prayer and raise a toast to those who may be feeling second best at this time but are always in God's A-team. Oh, soon need more bubbles. Leave on the doorstep. <laughs> 